हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक क्लास ट्वेल्व टुडे आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग अवर सी बी एस ई सैम्पल पेपर पार्ट ए एंड सेक्शन सेकेंड ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो यू कैन सी वन बॉक वन बाय वन आई एम टेकिंग सो लास्ट टाइम आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट रिसीविंग इ रिलेवेंट एंड अनवॉन्टेड ई मेल्स रिपीटली एज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्पम मेल ओके जंक मेल अनसोलिकेटेड मेल सो देर आर सेवरल लैम्स नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग इज यू कैन सी इन सेक्शन सेकेंड इन सेक्शन सेकेंड ओके सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग डेटा फ्रेम डी एफ एंड आंसर एनी फोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव ओके सो वन टू फाइव क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अवर रोल नंबर देन नेम ओके दिस इज यू टी वन मार्क्स दिस इज यू टी टू मार्क्स एंड दिस इज यू टी थ्री मार्क्स एंड यू टी फोर मार्क्स एंड रिगार्डिंग रोल नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके सो एंड नेम यू कैन सी प्रेरणा मनीष एंड दिस इज मार्क्स ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट डाउन द कमांड दैट विल गिव द फॉलोइंग आउटपुट ओके सो रोल नंबर सिक्स ओके एंड नेम तनिष गोयल एंड यू टी वन ट्वेंटी फोर यू टी टू ट्वेंटी फोर एंड यू टी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड यू टी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर सो यू कैन सी टू एचीव दिस आउटपुट ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल गेट द रोल नंबर सिक्स ओके सो फॉर रोल नंबर सिक्स सो अवर फर्स्ट आउटपुट यू कैन सी ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो हियर इन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर ऑप्शन ए बी सी डी ओके एंड टू एचीव दिस आउटपुट सो हियर सिंपली वी कैन राइट डी एफ डॉट मैक्स सो डी एफ डॉट मैक्स फंक्शन विल अप्लाई सपोज इन फर्स्ट द रोल नंबर कॉलम सो मैक्सिमम इज सिक्स ओके second is name so maximum uh, you can think t tanish in a to z tanish and duty one you can see 24 so in each and every column we will find the maximum okay so we can write df dot max function okay df dot max max function directly we can use here x is equal to, is equal to 0 is important because because in every row we can find the maximum in every row we can find by default x is 0 is always available so b answer print df dot max we will use okay this is our second question the teacher needs to know the marks scored by the student with roll number 4 okay and help her to identify the current set statement from the given options okay so only we will select the roll number 4 roll number 4 data is falguni jain okay 22 20 24 and 20 so this roll number data we want okay so for this purpose here uh, we have four options option a b c d so but here we will select only correct option in out of four option we will correct so what is the correct code Uh, we can use df is equal to uh, df and uh, df roll number equal equal four. Okay, so in inside first we find we can check the roll number four. 
okay then roll number fold data we can store in df while new data frame then we will display okay we can also use df dot roll number is equal to is equal to 4 okay either we can use this style or either we can use this style okay so first we check roll number one by one and uh, we'll reach the roll number four data so this is our roll number four data four folgan is n 22 20 24 and 20 so this uh, particular row will select and will store in df1 new data frame and then we will display df1 okay so using this uh, uh, concept we can select a particular record okay so you can use now third question which of the following statement will give the exact number of value of each column of the data frame okay so we have uh, four possibilities print df dot count df count zero df count df, df x is is it uh, x, x is equal to index so here uh, the option a first and second okay because df dot count we can use so entire in data frame every column will count the total number of rows okay so either we can use this or either we can use count zero okay so the uh, so we can say option a is right okay so we can say in roll number total six value in name total six value in ut1 total six in ut2 total six in ut3 total six and ut4 total six so count function count every all the columns in each column the total number of rows okay so we can say so df dot count either or we can also use df dot count in bracket zero okay so we can say of both option a and second uh, is right okay students now next question is which of the following command will display the column labels of data frame okay so we want to display only columns okay means uh, we want to display roll number name ut1 ut2 ut3 and ut4 this title i want to display so we can use df dot columns simply we can use df dot columns and suppose you want to display index so, so you you will use df dot index only df dot index so it will display 0 1 2 3 4 5 and suppose you want to display only column names so you can use df dot columns okay so directly we can use here no bracket or nothing required only directly we can use df dot columns so keep in mind this thing okay so this will display all the column titles okay students now next question uh, mr sharma the class teacher wants to add a new column the score of grade with values a b a a b a to the data frame help her to choose the correct command to do okay so, so you so you can think uh, we want to add a new column we want to add a new column okay so simply we can use df in grade okay we can use a particular column in square bracket directly okay then we can use as it is all the value so the option b so option b we can directly use to add a new column in existing data frame okay so df in square bracket grade and the set of values we can directly use and so this new column will add in existing data frame directly okay so we can say uh, so the b option is most correct okay students now here the next question belongs to our sql table okay so this this is our table okay and uh, this table uh, it is a question you can see the student table you can see the roll roll number name class date of birth gender city and marks okay so this is our 
table and uh, uh, based on this table uh, there are some questions and we can uh, write the correct command and choose the correct command for these so you can see this is student table you can see so here first question is state the command that will give output as suppose here there is name anand chetan geet preeti sanyal makhi and neha and nishan okay but i want to display anand chetan uh, and geet and preeti so i want to display only the selected row so you can see anand chetan geet and preeti so you can see for this output we can use because uh, this name okay so we can use city okay so only agra in mumbai student we want to display so here i am using select name from student where city is equal to agra or city is equal to mumbai so this is the one possibilities to show the selected name the second possibility we can imagine we can also write city in agra or mumbai okay so all the student of agra and mumbai okay so you can see so only agra and mumbai uh, will give this selected name okay class and this class is not a right thing so we can select only third and fourth okay either we can use or operator or we can use in operator so this uh, third and fourth will give this output so to achieve this output we can use we can think the city uh, is equal to agra or city is equal to mumbai or we can another thing we can use same thing using a in okay so to uh, show this output so this first question you can think now the second question is what will be the output of the following command okay so this is our question select staff from student where gender f and order by marks okay so there are four options option a this output will be we will see b c and finally you can see d so first we understand the execution process okay first the command will select uh, order by marks so all the marks you can see in the table okay so in ascending order will arrange first all the marks okay then it will select only female gender data okay only female based data only geet priti makhi neha okay this data will and in this data all the rows will come in this data all the rows will come so you can see row number name class okay so we can say directly we can see the output the option b uh, is right because all the female mikhi neha getin priti including all rows all females but in ascending order because this is order by marks so the answer b is most correct answer b is most correct okay so this command and possible for output but answer b is most correct okay explain now next question prachi has given uh, this is our third prachi has given the following command to obtain the highest marks okay select maximum marks from student where group by class so we can think each class we can find the uh, maximum marks of particular class okay so you can see in our class only 10th class 11th class and 12th class okay so in 10th class maximum marks we can display in 11th class maximum marks we can display in 12th class the maximum marks we want so uh, but this command is not working properly okay because here where and group by because after where we must use a condition okay it require a must condition but here there is no condition 
so this command is problematic command so we we can repair this command and find the maximum marks of each class so what is the correct this is the incorrect command but i want to correct this command so select the correct command for this so you can see here simply we can use class maximum from student and group by marks so we can think here from student and uh, because uh, here class wise i want to group so here you can see uh, the d option is absolutely right because here class and maximum marks and group by class okay from student is not right by marks is not right and but group by marks so d option is the correct command and we will see class name and the highest marks respectively in a one output so we can see uh, this incorrect command will correct by the option d is the corrected so we can use this command okay now next command is state the command to display the average marks score by student of each gender who are in uh, class 11 so in class 11 and we must select uh, gender only for class 11 okay so there are four possibilities but we can select only correct because we want to display the average marks okay of each gender who had in 11 class so in 11 class we can select male and female and we can uh, all the female of class 11 and we will get average marks all the class 11 uh, male student we will calculate the average marks okay so what is the correct command so here uh, we can see the uh, direct uh, our correct code you can see the correct uh, select gender okay so he can see uh, second and fourth is the mostly corrected code select gender average marks okay from student group by gender where class uh, is equal to 11 or we can also use select gender average marks for student group by gender having class uh, 11 okay so first we group by gender and in in this uh, grouping we we want to select selected group so we can use having also so uh the alternate thing is we can use group by and having and same output we will get using group by and where we can also use okay so this thing we can also use so we can say so the both second and fourth answer is most appropriate and we will see the average of uh, gender wise of class 11 so i think uh, the the option 4 is most 100% correct because in group by and having okay this is not ambiguous command this is a perfect command okay so the possibility is we can use this command but the actual 100% right answer is we can use this command because in group by and having we mostly use this is a perfect pair okay students now next command is question 5 help ritesh to write the command to display the name of the youngest students okay so simply we can youngest means we simply find out the maximum date of birth or so simply we can use the option b name max date of birth from student okay so we will find the youngest student of the class so simply we can write name and maximum date of birth from students okay students so today i am discussing about part a section second all question in next class we will discuss part b our descriptive questions so we will discuss later in next class okay students thank you so much